Since 2015, we've been working with a local children's hospital to develop prototypes and custom solutions using 3D printing. Everything from needle disposal systems to wrist and hand splints to dermatology tools have been tried and tested by real healthcare professionals helping save time, money, and help improve healthcare for patients. For the cardiology department, we developed caps that convert plastic saline solution bottles into needle disposal systems. After the bottles are full, their original caps are used to permanently seal and dispose of them, while our 3D printed caps are reused for the next bottle, saving money. The CAPS designs were developed with direct input from nurses and technicians who helped create a design that works best with their department's specific workflow and conditions. Because 3D printing allows for quick, cheap, and virtually endless iterations, we were able to print out and test multiple versions until creating the final perfect version. We then printed over 100 for use throughout the department. 3D printing these hand and wrist splints cost between 20 and 30 Thai baht, or about one US dollar. Previously, the hospital was buying large sheets of thermal plastic, cutting them out to size by hand, and fitting them to patients for nearly 1,000 baht, or about 30 US dollars per splint. Not only is the 3D printing process more precise than cutting by hand, any design, including holes for ventilation, can be included, and the design can be any shape or size to fit any patient's needs. In the children's dermatology department, sometimes samples must be taken from patients using what is essentially a knife, but Knives are scary for children, so the head technician asked us to design a child-friendly alternative. Now, children are so distracted with picking out their favorite knife, they don't have time to panic over the quick and painless process of taking a sample. We've printed many versions of this knife out over the last few years for both aesthetic and practical considerations. The dermatology department conducted their own tests to work out protocols for disinfecting and reusing the knives. Because they're successful, they may even move on to being mass-produced in a factory and then perhaps sold to other hospitals nationwide. We've worked on many other projects, some successful, some not so much, but we're always learning along the way. These bed leveling systems were a simple method developed by ICU nurses to replace their expensive but ineffective laser leveling system. All they needed were these hooks to hang the bubble levels on a string. They could work around all of the equipment typically surrounding beds in an ICU. This is the perfect application for 3D printing, especially in a hospital. Printing out simple but customized things you just couldn't buy at a store or online. A single designer with one 3D printer and a few simple hand tools set up in an empty office in a hospital's innovation department could easily meet the demands of many of the hospital's needs. Our biggest problem was always proximity and schedule conflicts. If we were based out of the children's hospital, we could have finished some of these projects in half a day. Instead, they took a week or more. But as nurses and technicians we worked with noted, even a week or a month's wait is still better than never doing the project at all. And before cheap and accessible 3D printing, these projects were simply too expensive, too time consuming, and too impractical to try. The next step is definitely convincing hospitals to bring personal manufacturing in-house and with their own designers fully leverage this technology. Many hospitals are already doing this around the globe and the more that join in, the better, the cheaper, and the faster healthcare solutions can be developed. If you'd like more information about our projects, past, present, or future, check out the video description for different ways to contact us. We'd really love to hear from you, and if you like our video, please like and share it. That would be helpful also. A lot of the designs we included in this video are available for free online via Thingiverse, so you can check them out there. Just keep in mind these are all prototypes, so unless you're a healthcare professional and you put these designs through rigorous approval processes, if you do print them out, do so just for educational purposes. And thanks for watching.